I've done some videos in the past on Disney's LGBT propaganda film Strange World. It certainly is a strange world we live in when a allegedly family-friendly company is pushing this kind of stuff. But they've been doing it for quite a while. Ever since the 1990s, they've been subtly pushing it. But now it's just blatantly in the open. But the problem is when you're no longer subtle about it, when you're just openly satanic, well, this is the result. You lose money. And it turns out that Strange World was the worst flop of 2022. Ever. It was, it was, it's the woke SJW lobby's worst ever flop, I'll put it that way. Because why? Well, because normal families don't see, they're pandering to a bunch of blue haired, childless, you know, oftentimes single weirdos on the internet, these blue haired feminist SJW weirdos on the internet who are just a loud and annoying minority. The silent majority is paying with their wallets. That's what's going on. We're keeping our wallets closed and the SJW lobby is feeling it in their wallets. So here, uh, this is on um, Walt Disney World, uh, just some, some Walt Disney website where they report on Disney stuff. It says here, Disney's Strange World loses nearly 200 million as worst box office flop of 2022. Yeah, this is posted on April 16, 2023. Walt Disney Animation Studios animated comedy adventure Strange World has lost the company nearly $200 million, making it its place as the worst box office flop of 2022, according to Deadline. Yeah. You go woke, you go, you go woke, you go broke. It's not just a vain, empty phrase, it's the blunt reality. Strange World debuted in movie theaters on Thanksgiving and quickly transitioned to Disney Plus before Christmas, less than a month later, following a lackluster premiere week. The film initially uh, reviewed at, Ho at Disney's Hollywood Studios in early November. Recent reports show just how sh how poorly the film performed following its theatrical debut. Yeah, I did videos on it, on it back when it came out a couple months ago and uh, what seven months ago or whatever it was not doing well at the box office it was failing miserably continuing on according to deadline walt disney studios ranked uh sorry raked in more than 317 million in expenses for the films and only recouped 120 million a mere 35 million was brought from its first time in movie theaters worldwide worldwide not just in america worldwide <laughs> figure uh that is significantly less compared to what it spent on advertising of the film yeah, even just to break even, they would have to make like well over $300 million, and they can't even do that. Continuing on in the article, the star cast, the uh, star cast include the likes of a bunch of names I don't, I don't really care about, a multi-generational played family of explorers, uh, they uh, lead their voices to, some, some actors, they lead their voices to the uh, film. The comedy adventure tackles the importance of saving the, saving the environment, as well as the relationship between fathers and sons. Strange World also introduces the first openly gay main character in a Disney animated film. So they got environmentalism pushed in there as well, and openly homosexual themes. And you wonder why normal families are not paying to see this thing. Yeah. But again, you go woke, you go broke. Until they realize that, they're going to keep losing money. The definition of insanity is when you just do the same thing over and over and over and expect different results. Every time they, they slip these themes in their films and it's open, well, you know, they're going to lose money. I mean, the most recent example is Indiana Jones 5 and the so-called Dial of Destiny, or I call it the uh, yeah, Diagnosis of Dementia. That's, that's one way I like to dub it. Um, they had openly feminist themes, and turns out that it lost a lot of money. It had a $300 million budget, and it's not even going to break even what it's looking like now. What else? I mean, they had Elemental, you know, a non-binary character. Well, it's failing at the box office. I mean, you had Lightyear, a gay kiss scene, failed at the box office. I mean, just, you can, just all these other examples. Why? Because when you do this, you lose money. And when you continue to do this, you're going to continue to lose money. But woke SJW Disney is going to continue to lose money until they understand that, you know, keep the insanity of woke SJW politics out of the films. Keep any politics out of the films. Just keep it politically neutral you know, separate politics from entertainment. Because that's the whole reason why people would go to Disney World to escape the insanity of everyday American politics. So when you bring that in, well, you're gonna push your customers away. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.